Well, EA Games are gonna love me because I've gone ahead and bought every bit of DLC for The Sims 3 on Steam. Why did I decide this was a good idea? It cost me a lot of money. Here's hoping I can see the return investment on this. Here's hoping. So I've been really wanting to play The Sims lately and I figured I'd go back to The Sims 3 because I remember it being great as a kid. It was a fully featured Sims experience. I figured I'd buy it on Steam and it's still all full price. So I've never actually played any of the DLC for The Sims 3 and I was only gonna buy a few pieces of DLC and just play the game casually but then looking through all the DLC that this game has and realizing that I never played any of it I figured why not buy it all and see how the game runs <laughs> luckily there's a good old Sims 3 collection which holds every bit of DLC and expansion packs for the Sims 3 there's a lot of them so you've got world adventures ambitions late night generations pets showtime supernatural seasons university island paradise into the future high-end loft stuff fast lane stuff outdoor living stuff town life stuff master sweet stuff diesel stuff diesel stuff 70s 80s and 90s stuff movie stuff and that all came down to the beautiful price of about 130 euros for me you know what the best thing about this sims collection is i bought the whole thing and it doesn't even come with the main fucking game <laughs> i still have to buy the sims 3 like the base game so it came down to 150 euros of sims content fucking fantastic so the reason i wanted to do this is to see how the game essentially runs with everything installed and enabled i've heard people say that the sims 3 is pretty unoptimized and runs horribly if you have too many dlc or expansions installed so that's nice so for this video i'm not going to review every single bit of dlc because i don't have the time or energy to play through all of it it's a lot of sim stuff but what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the sims 3 we're going to see how the game runs with everything installed we're going to see how many items and stuff i have enabled all the customization options for our character see if it was worth the 130 euros 150 euros actually because i had to buy the base game with it the fun thing too about the sims 3 i've noticed is that it barely goes on sale because they want you to buy sims 4 stuff i don't know if i want this video to do well because it means i'll have to buy everything for the sims 4 and i don't want to buy everything for the sims 4 because there's so much stuff for the sims 4 still releasing and i honestly don't think i have the money to buy it all for now we're gonna jump into the sims 3 we're gonna see how the game runs and i'll see you in the slime infest the DLC hole thanks to EA Games. So here we are into The Sims 3 and immediately it's advertising The Sims 4 to me. Um, This game crashed a few times on boot. I'm gonna put it down to all of the DLC that's installed is actually crashing it maybe. It's a good thing it actually decided to boot because I spent 150 euros on this and what do we get as our reward for coming into the game? We get a nice old advertisement for The Sims 4. I do not want to buy it now. You have enough of my money. Oh look we have so many towns to go through. Oh, I love the Sims 3 music, it's so great. This is almost too many towns. I'm too used to just the base Sims 3. I never bought any DLC before. What's this? T Sim points? There's more stuff to buy? I bought all the DLC, there's more stuff. I spent so much money and there's still more shit? Buy Hidden Springs. Buy The Sims 4. What more do you want from me? Do you actually want my wallet? <laughs> I'm going to Sunset fucking Valley. There we go. Just get me into the game. Hold on. You're not logged in. Think I care. I don't want my Sims points. There's a guitar. It's, is that an electric guitar? It's very big unless it's an electric acoustic or something. Okay. How long is it going to take to load? How long is it going to take to load? I'm using a modern computer. Let's see if the game's actually going to be slow or what. I can't believe I spent that much money on packs and expansions and it still wants money from me. Good God. EA. Good lord! This video is a good indicator for people not to do this. I imagine you're clever with your money unlike me, but good god don't do this. Don't fucking do this. Oh. And you can't really wait until a sale because they don't really put the Sims 3 on sale. This is taking a long time to load. I'm kind of worried. It's going up slowly. This is taking longer to load than my old laptop from way back in the day that was running Vista. And I'm running a pretty good PC, so it shouldn't be this slow. I don't think this game can handle all the DLC installed. Come on, you can do it, Loading Bear. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Don't crash on me. You can do it. Oh, it's going... It's, it's so slow. Come on. If I install any more packs, like with the Sims coin crap, it would definitely crash my game to the point where I can't even load. Oh, it's going to be so painful to load anything. I'm going to wait a bit. And if it doesn't load, I'm going to have to restart and I might try a new town and hope it works. This isn't a very good sign. Oh, oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. Okay, it's not acting slow or anything, but everything's popping in weird. All my settings are on high, so I don't think things should be popping in weirdly. Unless the game's just really broken. Okay, Sims 3, how you doing? Here's Pleasant Townville, the sissy. Was this the original city in the game, or...? I think it was? But anyway, let's just create a household. I better have loads of, like, hairstyles and clothing for my Sims. I better. I paid to use money for it. 
Did I say that? I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay, how long is this gonna load now? <laughs> loading screens are gonna be the bane of my existence. I just paid for loading screens, essentially. <laughs> Yep so. Yippee Kaye. Oh, he's going so fast. He's spinning way too fast. He's enjoying us. He's loving all the DLC installed into his world. Visit the Sims 3 via the shop mode to get a brief tour and shopping. Never. Fuck off. I know how to make Sims. I'm smart. Well, that's debatable, but I know how to make a Sim. I'm just gonna make me, Mickey, Mickey me, a <laughs> uh, human. Excuse me? Oh, we have vampires and stuff. Werewolves have two forms. We could be a fairy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, am I a fairy now? I just have big pink wings. Well, I hope that DLC was worth buying. Can I be a witch? Can I be a dirty witch? I'm just gonna be a normal sim, but I have to see what all of these look like. I have a wand! I'm Harry Potter! I'm shit Harry Potter. That's all a witch is. Well, aren't I technically a wizard? A vampire. He's just licking his lips. There's no change to him at all. Medio. Oh no, I have the gray skin. Everything's taking so long to load. It's so laggy. Everything's extremely laggy. I could be a ghost. I am a ghost vampire who's floating in the air. I think it's just gonna take forever to load all of the characters. Oh, there you go. Wasn't that worth my hard earned money? Let's be a genie. I can see through his pants a little bit, I guess. Okay, now he's floating. Everything is just taking forever to load. Like, would the fairy have loaded in more if I waited? I only got the pink wings. There you go. <laughs> I look like Will Smith in the Aladdin movie. It's not even funny. Just get me back to human. I wanna be a dirty, basic human. Skin tones. <laughs> Why is there blue? Oh, you could be a blue genie. Just make me a human, please. Bring me back to human form, it's taking so long to load. My PC fan is going pretty hard, and it doesn't go this hard unless I'm playing a game like fucking Elden Ring or Cyberpunk. Human! Human! I don't want to be a genie! I don't want to be a genie! Disable it! I have to exit out. Not the main menu, how do I just exit out back to the, t the town? Don't open up the store. What's in store for me? Bohemian Garden. Brett taken. I bought everything. I thought I did anyway. Just make me human again. Human! Human! Load human! Load human! I'm not gonna be a feckin' genie. I don't want to, that shit. I have to quit out and go back in. The game is running so horribly. Just go back to Sunset Valley. I don't wanna log in. I have to wait another five hours for this to load. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this is the worst way to play The Sims 3 ever. Don't do this. I'm just on my phone, I'm waiting. I have to wait until the game fucking loads again. Take it forever, there's too much stuff installed and it's not even everything. I don't think you're supposed to do this. All this because the character creator wouldn't exit out of genie mode. I don't want to be a genie. There we go. It actually loaded quicker that time, at least. It still took a long time, but it loaded... I I wouldn't say quick. <laughs> Create a household and don't select any supernatural crap. Because good lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting this to be that bad. I was not expecting this to be that painful. Human. Okay, stay human. I'm either so pale as can be. My computer's getting so hot now that it reminds me of playing The Sims 3 on my old laptop when it gets like really warm, like you can't handle the game. The more things change, the more they stay the same, huh? I'm gonna let everyone on the internet know that I'm skinny, as far as they know. You can have big feckin' sharp shoulders. Okay, I'm not gonna spend too long in the character creator because we wasted enough time in loading screens and crashing. Oh, we've loads of hairstyles out. Kind of. Well... Am I feeling greedy in that I expected a bit more hairstyles and there's still stuff I have to buy with points? I can't even have the genie hat. I thought I had the genie. What hairstyle is this? Alright, cool. I look like I should be in the 80s. That came from the 80s pack, right? Well, I just make a Hall & Oates wannabe. Looking through all the items is gonna take a while, but look at that. I look like I should be in fucking Smash. I mean, they're cool hairstyles, I will say. If only my game wasn't running at 2 FPS, it'd be great. There's probably tons of clothes, right? The thing I love about The Sims 3 and its customization options is that you can change the color of anything. Like, you can change the color of any alternate clothing, you can make your eyes all weird colors and everything. There's a lot of customization, and it still really holds up in that regard. It's why I really enjoyed The Sims game, even though 2 is my favorite, for like nostalgia reasons. I still enjoy The Sims 3. It's still one of my favorite ones. It's still worth going back to, just without everything fucking installed. <laughs> Let's go. Oh Jesus, I wasn't expecting that when you took your shirt off. Oh, I'm flustered. Do I want the beard? Oh, there's loads of beard options. I can be Skyrim. That doesn't even suit them. They've just given me worse beards. This music playing in the background. Sounds like it should be in a YouTube ad that annoys you 50 times a day while you're trying to listen to music. What the fuck is this? Okay, you know, I don't think I want beards. Oh, there's tattoos on everything. That looks like a Call of Duty prestige emblem or some shit. Oh, the tattoos aren't even in high quality, but, and they, they haven't got inside the lines on the old ink. Sorry about that, but you got the worst tattoo on earth. I'm gonna have a big woohoo tattoo on my back. All the ladies will get it. All the ladies, huh? You can get a Keemstar tattoo if you want. You can, 
You can get Dolphin Tattoo. You can be Echo the Dolphin. Remember that game? Okay, let's see how much clothes we actually get with all of our DLC. Because I'm expecting good things here. Oh, it's so laggy. Oh, it's so laggy. Oh, this isn't usable. Oh, this isn't usable. Oh, the user experience is shocking. And okay, it's getting slightly better the more it loads in. Okay, it's fine now. My computer needed time to pick up and it's advertising clothes for me to spend more money on. EA are doing this shit worse than The Sims 4, by the way. The Sims 4 is much worse than The Sims 3 in this regard. The Sims 4 has so many features stripped back. I hate The Sims 4. I don't like it at all. What kind of character am I even making? I think the music has just stopped completely. I can't keep up. You can wear a ski mask if you want. You can be a serial killer. So you can, you can have that. <laughs> You got a body here? Sashdo. We have DLC body here. Oh, oh, this must be the werewolf they were talking about. Look at all this. Oh, that's terrible. I don't even want this as a joke. That's slightly better with the woohoo tattoo on the back. Okay, I tried to make a character that kind of looks like me, but I think I failed horribly. The music has completely stopped, by the way. It's really lonely. The game has just quit the music, even though The Sims has great music. And I know with all the DLC, there's a lot more music. My character looks like Justin Bieber. I didn't try to make that intentional. I don't want to be a posh wanker. <laughs> Where's the cardigans? I don't want to be a posh wanker, he says, as he states afterwards. Where's the cardigans? There's almost too much choice. There's too much stuff. I love this. You can change everything. I don't care. Go away. You can change everything about your clothes. You have so many customization options. You can just change the layout if you want. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's mine. That's mine. We're having that shirt. I can have a grass t-shirt as well with it if I want. I can have fabrics. Yeah, <laughs> that's my character. Brilliant. Oh, you have big ugly boots. No. Oh, I don't want those. That's Kingdom Hearts. I don't want Kingdom Hearts anywhere near my channel. I'd rather that than Kingdom Hearts references. Ah, oh, nice brown loafers. Fucking why not? Did you ever hear the idea that when you just have too much choice, you don't want to pick anything? Personality. Cult of personality. I have loads of traits. I like how I said, don't give me tutorials, and it's giving me tutorials. <laughs> Absent-minded. Yeah, <laughs> that describes me pretty well. Oh, there's so many. Unflirty. Unstable. Stare quality. I'm not a stare. I am not a stare at all. Loser, loner, otter. Oh, getting a bit too real now. I'm not going to pick all the depressing ones. Hydrophobic. He's afraid of Fanta. Great kisser. That's not me. Great sense of humor. That's not me. Genius. That's not me. Frugal. That's not me. I spent 150 euros on this. I thought that said Ariana Grande for a second. He's a porn salesman. He's going to work for EA. Made the most of my time. Isn't that what we all want in life? But what do I like? You have no Guinness here. I don't have a deep voice either. So I'm pretty high pitched. Uh, we'll put that up. Okay, we finally have a character. Dawn, get me into the game. That took forever. Me. The me family. Okay. Choose a lot. I thought it was 20k you start off with. I'm not going to have enough for any of the items in the DLC. There's a pre-fabulous villa. I'm only going to have 300 simoleons when I go into this place. I guess I need this cheap gaff. Make it furnished so I actually have some stuff. I only have about 4,000 to play with. Alright, get me into my household. Water Lily Lane. How long is this going to load? Hopefully the actual gameplay is not that slow, although I'm not going to hold out much hope. I imagine the gameplay won't be slow, but the menus for like building and all that is going to be very, very long. Oh, I love this about the Sims 3. You actually have the whole map and they took this feature away from The Sims 4 for some reason. But you could explore the whole map. You could just see all the households and everything. Oh, it's so slow. My computer should be running this fine. Okay, now it's kind of quick. Now it's all right. Here we are into The Sims. I have plenty of flamingos. I'm happy out. This is a great household. I love playing video games because it appeals to the male fantasy of uh, being able to afford a home. Ireland. Sims, I know how to play. Okay, I don't need tutorials. The wall view, I don't care about the wall view. It's raining immediately as we move in. It's not a good sign for you, buddy. Oh, it's so slow. It shouldn't be doing this. Oh, it's really slow. My old laptop was better running this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This is painful. There's too much stuff to load in. Your Sims could really use a new couch. He has a couch. Where can we buy a couch? I have a couch. Okay, how many couches do I have with all my DLC? We have loads of couches. We have loads of items. And yeah, it's moving very slowly. I've had people say that the game does get very unoptimized when you install too much stuff. Which is what's happening here. The game runs fine otherwise on my PC. I love this song though. Do, 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 do. I have a couch and I want me to buy a new one. Exit store. Oh, to exit, exit, exit. Oh, okay, it was right there. It was right there in front of my eyes. Okay. Oh, now we can get into the game. Okay, he's just standing in the rain. I'm going to let you stand there in the rain, bud. Earning a university degree comes with many benefits. Oh, it's on my DLC. Check out your smartphone. Oh, I have smartphone text and everything. There's going to be loads of DLC stuff popping in. View weather store location. Oh, no, I'm okay, thanks. How you doing, pud? What's your needs? Are you all right? Mickey me is not very happy me. He's not very happy at all at all. Oh, he has no TV. He just has a bookshelf. Get off my fucking lawn. Get out. You'll knock over my flamingos. You better skip out of here, skip. Leave me read in peace. He wants to be a doctor? Ew. Why can't you be something fun like a let's player? What the f- What? 
What's going on? There's a university mascot at my door. Have a chat with him, I guess. Okay, my game's starting to run a bit better the more we play, but... Oh, he just dropped a... What? This is university stuff, right? Lots of, lots of okay, I'm just talking to the alpaca man. I don't think he's a big fan of me. University freebies? Cool, stop talking to the alpaca man. He thinks I'm only okay. You're the one who came to my door giving me free stuff. I thought you loved me. I got a scroll. Why'd oh, you change your clothes? No! Go back, go back, go back. What's going on? What's going on? What's going... What's happening? What's going... I don't know what this shit is. There's a care here. There's a teleporter. Inspect portal. Is this the future DLC? Where is this gonna take me? It's gonna take me to the store page, ain't it? The horrible future of The Sims 4. Technology from the future requires time and patience. With time and practice, Sims will gain the advanced technology skill to master futuristic objects. God, there's so much. Can I actually step into the portal or do we need to like fix it or something? Buddy, I don't think you should touch that. It's gonna send you to Carlo. It's not a fun place to be. What is going on? Emmett thinks Mickey is okay. Is it Emmett or a miss? Oh, because he has the crazy hair. That's just Rick from Rick and Marty. He's giving me a tablet. Justin Roiland, I'm on to you taking your ideas from The Sims. <laughs> I'm on to you, pal. Find and collect the power cells. This isn't Jack and Daxter. There's so much stuff. Later, later, later. Don't share the memory. A mysterious portal has appeared. I have some new sweet gear. Mickey is a bookworm. Greetings, I'm Emmett Relif. <laughs> There's too much notifications. You seem like an adventurous sim. Perhaps you'd like to use my time portal. All adventures need an almanac. Okay, so it's just back to the future too. Okay, I, I get you. Collect the power cell. Go away, Emis. Very clever name, by the way. Collect the power cells. I guess we're going to the future. Why is there future DLC? We're going back to the past. It's about your clothes, Mickey. Something has to be done. I like my clothes. <laughs> I'm just going around the place collecting artifacts. He's scanning my university shit. Okay, I found your stuff. Repair the portal. I guess we're just doing this now. It just appeared on my front lawn. This is kind of invasive for like a DLC, but I guess I understand why it's here. Stop chatting to him about fucking feathers and quills. No one cares. Radishes. He's talking about radishes. Wow. Return the power cells. Did I do it? Thanks to you, the time traveler can return home. Why don't you follow him? Okay. Travel to the future. Okay, let's go to the future. I don't know what's going on. This just appeared on my front lawn. We're going into the portal with Emmett. I don't want to go to Carlo. Oh, it's going to take forever to load. All right. I don't think I even wanted to do this. Into the future. That's the expansion. Okay, I've never heard of this expansion. Like at all. And it's going to take forever to load. Well, I better hang on tight. I've waited a good amount and it's only gone up that much. Oh, this is horrible. Do I have to do this for The Sims 4? How much DLC is there for The Sims 4? I don't have the money to do it. Oh, this better have been worth it. I do want to play The Sims 3 like casually after this. I'm gonna have to disable most of the DLC packs because having them all on just isn't justifiable. Like the game's just unoptimized. It's not my computer. The game is just horribly unoptimized. The Sims 1 complete collection with all the DLC runs better. Where the heck am I? Your Sim is just arrived in a new location full of exploration and adventure. I think I just want to go home. I'll have to go to another loading screen though. What's happening? Some of your descendants have been located. Can I go back home? Go back home. I, I'm gone. I don't care. I just want to go back to my house. What does all this pod shit? It's Assassin's Creed. Is there like a full future town? That's kind of cool. I'm squeaky clean for some reason. <laughs> Embracing the future as moves gone up by five. I'd just be terrified. Are you kidding me? Your sim has just wandered into the world of Drix mixing. Is that what the future is? Will you go home? Go away from Emmett. I don't care. Yes, go back. Oh, I'm wearing my normal clothes now. That's great. I didn't like my university t-shirt. I'm a young adult. I didn't even go to college. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> this isn't even really fun to play, I'll be honest. I don't know how much more I can stand of this. This is the biggest waste of money ever and I bought a PS Vita. I'm just kidding, that's a great system. There you go. I'm just gonna wait around for more DLC stuff to appear, I guess. Oh, why is there an ice cream truck outside? The kid left, but he's not here anymore. Anyway, <laughs> splash. Okay, splash in the feckin' puddles. Good lad. Can I delete this? Can I get rid of this? <laughs> Okay, okay, I just have a teleporter in my front garden. I don't want one. What's this? The Weatherstone? Okay. We're gonna go see the Weatherstone. If it's anything like a Weather Spoons, I don't wanna go. Oh, the town doesn't look as good as I remember. Okay, we're here at the fucking Weatherstone. Oh, can I change the weather to anything I want? Is that why it's raining all the time? View. All I can do is look at it. He's getting warm. A little heat never hurts. Mickey is starting to feel warm all over. I don't like that effect. Okay, well, the Weatherstone does nothing. Go home. <laughs> Go home, pal. Where's my house? The ice cream truck is just waiting outside for that kid. I'm gonna call the police, bud. Just read a book. Read cooking. You're gonna read the first volume of cooking so you don't burn the house down the first time you cook something like every other sim. Actually, do I have a fire alarm? How many fire alarm items do I have? There's a call box, an immortal call box. 
I love this song. You always want the fire alarm in The Sims featured sets. This is DLC stuff, right? Sim points. Ultra kitchen. This is a farce. Look, they're still advertising Sim shit to me. I bought everything and it makes the game run like crap. Okay, how much actual new stuff do we have with the DLC? Do we have loads of beds and stuff? We have shit tons of beds. There's loads of beds. The final resting place? Oh, this is like a vampire thing, ain't it? I can't even put it anywhere. I can get a sleeping bag. <laughs> I can get a basic sleeping bag. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I can get phones, like a cell phone and stuff. Is that my cell phone? You used to call me on your cell phone. It has a big charger. That's a home line phone. I think we need a telly. I don't want sim points tellies. I can buy a high-res TV. What kind of TV is this? Buy a retro-tastic because you look like a bit of a hipster. Let's be honest. I feel like this is just going to block everything. <laughs> I'm very good at The Sims. Put it there. Yeah, yeah, put it there. Put it there. Good lad. Good lad. You have a telly. He's not very happy with the current situation. Oh, it's running <laughs> sort of slow, sort of quick. There's just a big future teleporter. Ice cream van. Why are you still there? New stuff. Oh, he loves new stuff. He's so happy. Why are you so happy with your life? This is all overbearing. This is like an ADHD nightmare. What's that in my bathroom? Oh, it's a bin. What's a bin? I've never used a bin in my life. Ireland's just one big bin. Would I like to learn about the new options? No, I'm fine, actually. You can furnish your sim's house. I'm fine, actually. Controlling the flow of time. I'm fine, actually. He's reading about cooking. And I'm gonna leave you at it. Cheers, all of you, for watching The Sims 3. But I bought every single DLC ever. It's a painful experience. I want to play more. But there's so much stutter and frame rate issues. And all the menus are really slow. And it wasn't really that fun. I'm gonna see if I can get a refund. <laughs> Don't do this. If you're planning on doing this, don't. I guess I have to do this now for The Sims 4 in some capacity. But there's so much stuff for The Sims 4. I might just make it all the DLC packs or something, just like the basic ones. But we'll see. Thanks all of you for watching. Don't do this. And uh, I really want that t-shirt in real life. My character's just Justin Bieber. I'm terrible at character creators.